Hello, and this is my 2011 Kia Forte. I know you're shocked, it's not a Nissan, but I do daily this car, and uh, it does need some maintenance from time to time. Part of that maintenance includes replacing the crappy stock cast wheels. Um, they are 17 by sevens, and they're actually kind of hard to find because this is the, I guess, top of the line model, uh, and you can't, this wheel was not produced that much flat out you can get steelies you can get 16s for kias all day long but finding this exact 17 it's a bit tough especially in this color because the coupes came with a darker gunmetal color from what i've noticed anyways um so after purchasing the last decent one that cracked i have given up and said screw it go with what you know go nissan um there are some small differences between nissan and kia starting with the center hub bore had to grind it out a little bit. Um, easy way to do that for me anyways was to bolt it on, uh, send it home with some Ugga Duggas until it sat decently, and it put a nice little crease in here. You won't see the crease anymore because I've grinded it out. The hub bore difference is only from 66 to 67 mils. So literally I only had to grind, ugh, tongue twister, I only had to grind about a half mil of material off of each lip there. That's really not that much grinding at all. I kind of overkilled it a bit. But after grinding off the material, it now sits flush with the brake rotor. Um, the final thing I had to do, just because I picked G35, this isn't a, a whole Nissan thing. This is just with their nicer cars, the Gs and the Z specifically. I had to get mag style lug nuts instead of the regular factory acorns. Um, one last hurdle was the Kia wheel is, well, not the wheel, I guess, but the studs are a M12 by 1.5 and Nissan's M12 by one and a quarter. So I had to locate these lug nuts here. Um, had to go to two different auto zones to get enough to do the rear wheels, but I figured that they're pretty easy to find online. I was just doing this at the spur of the moment just because I literally cracked my wheel yesterday and... I don't like driving on my race wheels because they're actually decent. Um, they weigh 12 pounds and I have some Falcon as any 615 pluses that I don't want to daily the car on. I use that for when I go to autocross. Um, but yeah, driven home on these, even with the wrong lug nuts, already liked it. The This wheel is a 17 by seven and a half with a 45 offset. The factory wheel is a 17 by seven with a 50 offset. So they actually sit pretty decently. Let me lower the car, actually. They actually sit pretty decent on the car. Um, you know, don't stick out too much, but stick out just a little bit further. And the fact that they're wider, I can actually go to a, a wider tire size if I choose, but I have thoroughly enjoyed the factory performance. Just wanted to up things a little bit by getting a slightly wider wheel to give the sidewalls more support during high-speed cornering. And can't wait to get all four on. Um, so far, just having the rears on, uh, I the rears are actually keeping up with those Falcons a little bit better. I remember the last time I tracked this car, it's like it was feeling like your typical solid rear axle sedan. So hopefully, uh, it'll be a track day I can go to soon. Hit up the autocross again. This is pretty much going to be the setup. It's going to be those wheels with the G's on. But my daily setup is just going to be G35 sedan wheels. And I'm sorry, G37 sedan, but there's not much of a difference. But yeah, G37 sedan wheels. I'm liking it so far on day one. Anyways, one of the few rare videos that I'll make of my Kia. There might be some more in-car videos, but you're not going to see this car too much. See you guys.